sponsored by Squarespace. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite coffee shops in Tokyo. So this video is for all of my coffee lovers. I know I've done a few videos already featuring coffee shops here and there, but I haven't done a video yet showcasing just coffee shops. So in this video, I wanted to do exactly that and show you some of my favorite spots around the area. And so I'm not redundant. I won't show you the coffee shops that I've already featured, but I will leave links in the description. So definitely check those out. Also, before I start, if you wanna see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account if you wanna help support the channel. Like always, check out the Tokyo merch. And if you guys have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, check out the Discord community. That all said, let me take you to the third wave of coffee Coffee hitters. Number one, Streamer Coffee Company. So if you're all about that latte life, then look no further. But beware, you'll have to make your way to the back streets of Harajuku's Cat Street. They make a delicious cup of latte with a thick syrupy espresso, packing three times more coffee beans than average, so you're gonna get a concentrated hit of that good good. The so Streamers is one of those go-to spots that a lot of people in Tokyo love. This spot that I'm here now in Shibuya is actually one of the first spots, but they do also have a few other spots like Harajuku, Gotanda, Nakameguro and Setagaya. The shop was produced by a Japanese barista, Hiroshi Sawada, who's super famous in the latte art industry. What's nice is that they use these customized espresso machines from the US to make their original cafe latte. So today I just wanted to show you a few of their special ones. So this is their standard cafe latte, which everyone loves right here. But I also wanted to show you that though this is their military latte, it has matcha and white chocolate inside. Oh, for the matcha lovers, this is it. Matcha itself is not too strong. If you like really, really don't like matcha, then it's probably still easy to drink. So you can probably still drink this one. I've had friends that have had this matcha before and they say that they're not fans of matcha, but in fact, they like this. So it is something that you might want to try if you don't like matcha so much. But you know, if you do just like the regular latte, stick with that. And if you can, get this raspberry one. This one is their seasonal hitter, a raspberry latte. Mmm, but that raspberry, the seasonal raspberry is my favorite. In fact, it's not even on the menu today, but I asked them for it and it's gonna be on there soon, so they were able to make it. And just so that you know, they do have food to take on the go with you with your latte, but since the shop focuses on making only coffee, the food is made by other local shops. Number two, Saratehiko Coffee The Bridge. Choo choo! The next stop is Harajuku Station. I mean really, we're at the station. This hot one is located on the second floor of the newly built Harajuku Station building, which was opened just last year on the south side of the old wooden building. The shop was opened by a former actor, Tomoyuki Otsuka, and got ultra popular with the quickness, and now there's 14 shops all throughout Japan and even three in Taiwan. The name Saratehiko comes from a Japanese god known for opening up the path to all new things, and the shop itself is approved by the official Japanese shrine, so it's coffee beans are often used as a wedding gift to symbolize a new beginning. Coffee, truly blessed by the gods. I got their standard coffee, but it ain't that standard. It is one of the best here in Tokyo. That is coffee for the gods. The original shop is in Ebisu and it was founded in 2011. I wanted to show you that shop, but it's a little small. It's about only 28 square meters. So a lot more people will go to this one. So I wanted to show you this one instead. Also something worth noting about the coffee here is that they make a really good decaf. In fact, it's one of Michael's favorite decaf spots, especially when she had the baby. Also today I decided to go with their old barbecue sandwich. You can see it's been grilled on the outside just like so. Oh, look at that melted cheese. I love pork and melted cheese. Mm. Oh, that's a bomb. Mm. I love it. A crispy outer shell and a gooey inside. It has that juicy pulled pork, melted cheese, and then a little bit of lettuce in there. Mm. Hot coffee and a hot sandwich. Can't beat that. Number three, Kitasando Coffee. Kawabaku, 
六番まで六種類を選びたいと思います。一二三番が朝入りで、四番五番が帰りの豆なんです。So this place is a little off the beaten path, but it is only three minutes from Kitasando Station. It does have an interesting story though. The owner of this spot is a former CEO for Merpay, and what he wanted to do was spread cashless pay. So this place is actually cashless. So don't bring your cash, bring your credit card, or they also have apps where you can pre-order your coffee and order it that way. So today I got the iced coffee. It's the poured over. Let me just have a drink real quick. Yeah, that has that fruity flavor. When I chose the pour over coffee, I chose the Kitasando version, and this is the kind of like more fruity, which I like actually prefer over like really, really bitter coffee. So, what you can expect is they usually have five to six different types of coffee beans that you can choose from every day. I mean, just the fact that it has so many different flavors to choose from is pretty awesome. Before I continue on, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor today, Squarespace. If you guys don't already know, then Squarespace is my my go-to to build my online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace to build my website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are some of my favorite reasons to use Squarespace. Whether you're starting your passion project or building a business, Squarespace has all the tools to get it done while also looking ultra sleek and professional at the same time. They support numerous portfolios and gallery designs, which you can customize and even password protect so the right people see your work. Use its fully integrated blogging tools and commenting features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes to help engage your community. And my favorite, built-in analytics to see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. So go to squarespace.com today for your free trial. And when you're ready to check out, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. That said, let's move on to the next spot. Number four, About Life Coffee Brewer. All the way at the top of Shibuya's Dogenzaka, you'll find this amazing hole in the wall coffee stand that's definitely worth the climb. And no surprise though that you'll find a lot of bikes up here. So today we got the drippy drip coffee Guatemala version and what's interesting about this spot that I'm showing you now is that it's just on the corner of the street. It's just this little shop but they have the most amazing coffee. What's really special about this place is that they use friendship roasters. For example, Amameria Espresso in Masashi Kosugi, Switch Coffee Tokyo in Meguro, Onibus Coffee in Jugaoka. So it's pretty much like a select coffee shop which is pretty cool and therefore worth mentioning in today's video. And they do have a lot of different beans here but you don't need to be overwhelmed because they do have a chart which will help you kind of sort through it. So today they asked me like what kind of flavors that I want and then if I wanted something a little sweeter and they recommended the Guatemala beans. Have a little sip of this. Man, that's another awesome flavor. Oh, there you go. That has kind of like a sweeter taste to it. Man, these baristas know what the deal is all about. Number five, the local coffee stand. This shop used to be just near Aoyamagakuin University, but recently relocated next to the Trunk Hotel. Hidden on the second floor, it's become even more of a hidden local spot. All right, so we just went to the local, really, really popular joint that deserved a spot in this video. It has just like a really cool vibe in there, like a very, very young vibe. And it was just a little bit too loud for me to do the video in there, so I decided to go outside so that you guys can hear me a little better. It is getting cold as you can see the steam coming from my coffee right there. Let's have a drink of this. So yeah, I got the hand drip. It's from Nicaragua. Again, you can choose from all different types of roasted beans. In fact, this one would be definitely, definitely hard to find. Now, 
before in their previous store like they were on the first floor and they had kind of like name of the shop the local just on the window but now it is on the second floor but the coffee the people and everything is still the same even kind of like the vibe is still the same so definitely worth checking out this spot another local spot from i guess the local and number six, the roastery. Also located in Harajuku's Cat Street, the roastery sells some of the finest single origin coffee from around the world. Where should we travel to today? <laughs> Oh. Alright, so today we are all about the hand brew. What I love about this place is that if you get the hand brew, you can go to the back and they have all of these different beans that you can choose from. They let you smell the beans and then they like have an explanation for every single one. Today I got some beans from Costa Rica. Let me just try this right now. This one has flavors like dark cherry and raisin butter, also some milk caramel and honey. This is amazing! And they even roast their own beans here. Every morning they do it. Unfortunately, we're a little bit late today, so I can't actually show you, but they do it every morning. They also sell all the beans here, so you can buy it in a bag and take it home with you, which is also pretty nice. So those are my favorite coffee shops. I hope you guys like it. If you did, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more Tokyo guys, Japan guys, or anything related to Japan, Hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.